Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Google is undoubtedly the most popular search engine, dominating more than 80% share of the search engine market. Google Maps and Google Street View, for instance, are quite useful tools that help us find directions. Many people enjoy browsing the virtual globe to explore the world without having to travel to the various destinations, and these people occasionally stumble across unexpected and at times inexplicable things when they're just scrolling the virtual globe. And in some instances, these chance discoveries played a key role in saving a life. We have here 10 amazing rescue stories that started with a search on Google Maps. Number 10. LifeBank, Nigeria in January 2016, Temi Giwa Tobison launched LifeBank in Nigeria. Her goal was to find the fastest way possible for patients to receive the blood they needed. Nigeria has the fourth highest maternal mortality rate globally, with postpartum hemorrhaging the leading cause of such deaths. She turned to the Google Maps platform to create an app for these once disconnected entities. By mapping each location involved in blood distribution across Lagos, from hospitals to blood banks to dispatch drivers, Temi could reduce delivery times and save more lives. Doctors can now request a blood type and immediately access a map that tracks the delivery journey. For Temi Giwatubison, access to mapping information was essential for solving the blood donation crisis in her native Nigeria. Organizing information and making it accessible is at the heart of Google's mission. By designing a system to connect blood banks to hospitals via the Google Maps platform, LifeBank has decreased the delivery time from 24 hours to less than 45 minutes. Number 9. Kidnapped Victim Rescued In 2015, a British businessman, Sander Coca Lorry, was on his way to work when a former employee of the company he worked for, named John Spence, ran up to him with an air gun, which Sander thought was a real gun. So when he was ordered to get into a van, he readily complied. John robbed the businessman of his credit card and locked him to a treehouse in the nearby woods. He'd also taken about 500 pounds from the victim's account. However, unbeknownst to the kidnapper, Sander Lorry had stashed his phone in his sock. He managed to get his phone and used it to search his location using Google Maps. He then sent the address to his boss, who raised the alarm to the law enforcement. The reason John Spence had kidnapped the businessman was to hold him for ransom until their boss paid some £2,000, which the company allegedly owed him. Instead of the £2,000, however, he got eight years behind bars. Number 8. Man in Distress? In late 2016, a lady named Mary Hayes from Manchester, UK, was on a trip to Australia when she decided to go clubbing one cool evening. But when she was outside just about to get into the local nightclub, she thought she'd seen what looked like a man in distress. However, it turned out that the guy wasn't in need of help, as he was just faking an emergency to lure the young lady closer. The unsuspecting young lady was grabbed and thrown into the car as soon as she was approached to check on the would-be kidnapper. Luckily, the young lady was able to text her father, who was in the UK at the time. She wrote, A man has taken me, please hurry. She was also able to send her location to her father using Google Maps. Her quick-thinking dad immediately called the cops and shared her daughter's address. The cops used this information to locate the kidnapper, arrested the man, and saved Mary from her abductor. Google Maps saved a life yet again. Number 7. Google Search Warrants did you know that Google can provide the data they store on people using their services to the police? And law enforcement could obtain a warrant and use such technologies as geofences to run a location history search on suspects. In 2009, Victoria Police in Australia were able to use similar technology relying on Google Maps to identify and arrest several child pornography criminals who were trading images online. The method gave the police the capacity to identify the contents and images on computers without applying for court-approved search warrants and without raiding suspects. The police Police were using identified computers exchanging child pornography images, and the computer hits were then placed against Google Maps to help confirm locations. A 60-year-old office worker married with two adult children was the first suspect to be charged with possessing and transmitting child pornography. The law enforcers were then able to arrest the offenders with the priority of rescuing potential victims. Thanks to Google Maps, a core technology, the innocent children were saved from their perverse predators. Number 6. Lost in the Woods 15-year-old Austin Bohannon was hiking off trail in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park when he got lost after being separated from his stepfather during the hike. Unfortunately, he had no signal on his phone, so he turned the phone off. For 11 days, he was lost, and the search party that was scouring the remote area did not succeed at finding him. However, on day 11, he thought he might get a GPS signal if he could manage to get to higher ground. The teen, who relatives said is an avid camper, then set out to follow a stream to fresh water, heading to the highest point of the forest park. 
work. He switched on his phone, and right to his gut feeling, he got a GPS signal and used Google Maps on his phone to find his way out of the expansive Great Smoky Mountains National Park. He was taken to a hospital after he found his way out of the dense forest. Austin did not have any food with him, and he said that he didn't find any in his path during the 11 days. Number 5. Home Sweet Home in 1986, 12 years before Google was founded, a five-year-old boy named Saru Munchi Khan fell asleep on a Berhampur stationary train. Upon waking up, Saru found himself 1,500 kilometers away in Calcutta, where he knew nobody. He lived on the streets and later in an orphanage. He was later adopted by an Australian family and moved to Tasmania with them. A quarter of a century later, he was reunited with his family. Using vague memories and Google imagery, Saru was able to identify a landmark he knew from his childhood. After repeated efforts and jogging his memory from the day of his fateful train journey, he got the name of his town and made a trip to the place, and was able to be reunited with his long-lost family after a whole 26 years thanks to Google Maps. Number 4. Vehicle in the Pond for over a decade, 72-year-old David Mills had gone missing and was presumed dead. The last time he was seen was back in 2006, leaving a bar in Michigan after meeting up with a friend. He would have remained in the list of people who disappeared without a trace had a man named Brian not spotted the top of a car in a pond on Google Maps. The satellite image of the pond was on Google Maps, where it showed the outline of a vehicle. The picture was reported, and a dive team confirmed that indeed there was a vehicle in the pond. When the wrecking crew pulled it from the water, David's remains were still in the car, along with his wallet, half a mile from where he was last seen. Though this one didn't actually save a life, it still was necessary for David's family to find the closure they'd been waiting for for years. Number 3. Saving Flood Victims Saving lives during a flood and finding the location of distress calls might be more challenging than you imagined for a rescue team. During floods, a paper street map is no use to you as you can't recognize the street names, and if you're on a chopper, you need the latitude and longitude coordinates to locate a destination. Helicopters don't have GPS, but if you happen to have a pilot who knows how to use Google and a smartphone, you might actually save some lives. That was the case in Queensland, Australia in 2011, when rescue workers were called to come to the aid of flood victims. A tsunami had smashed the small area down to pieces, but unfortunately for the rescue mission, their flight management system could load a street address, but you had to have a latitude and longitude. They had a paper map in the aircraft, and they could see the street on the paper map, but the ground was covered with water in several areas, so it gave them no clue as to where they had to go. One of the guys on the rescue mission remembered that a colleague had Google Maps on his phone, and it came up with their current location at the time and they were able to align it to their destination address. They flew the helicopter following the line on the map and were able to get to the destination. Now it's time for today's best pick. This image was sent to us by a subscriber just like you. Remember, if you have a picture which you wish to know more about, just send it to us. We'll do the digging for you and who knows, you just might feature it in our next video. Number two, Castaway. Three sailors, setting sail from Pulup Island for what was to be a short expedition into the South Pacific, got into trouble when their tiny 19-foot ship was rocked by a furious squall until capsizing. With their life vests keeping them afloat, they were able to swim nearly two miles and made it to the shores of the small, uninhabited island of Fanatic, miles away north of Papua New Guinea. They were stranded on the remote island for three days, hoping beyond hope that a plane or a ship, anyone out there actually, would come to their rescue. None of them had any training on survival, and the harsh conditions on the island were not helping. Fortunately, Google Maps had just updated the island's satellite image, and luckily for them, someone stumbled upon the updated image, which showed the survivors holding high visibility fluorescent orange life vests in stretched out arms as if waving them. A few steps away from where they were standing, the word HELP was spelt out on the ground in large letters, using what looked like palm leaves, stones, and branches. The man who came across the castaway-like image immediately reported everything to the authorities, and a plane was quickly scrambled to locate and extract the three survivors. This was one of the few times that Google Maps actually saved lives, and the three men were lucky that it did. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Shipwrecked In 2007, Gemma Sheridan from Liverpool, UK was shipwrecked. 
She'd been sailing off the coast of Hawaii, but unfortunately, she met some bad weather. When she woke up, she was on a remote desert island and stayed there for seven years. One day, she decided to carve SOS into the sand in giant letters. Then one day, some kids from Minnesota, USA spotted her cry for help. She was then saved and was able to return to see her family again and return home. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash the like icon and leave a comment. Your engagement is what keeps our curiosity going. We have lots of fantastic videos that you will enjoy. You can start by checking out the two already showing up on your screen right now. Keep it 100.